Hi everyone, let's talk about the extruded boss base command. If we click on extruded boss base, it's going to prompt us to either create a sketch or to pick an existing one. You can see I have one already here out in my graphics area, so we'll go ahead and pick it. Let's start from the top here. Note that our from section allows us to extrude our feature either from our existing sketch plane or we could choose to extrude that from a face existing on our model, from a vertex anywhere in our existing part, or we could simply choose to offset that from our existing sketch on either side we want. Moving down, you'll note that we have the ability to change uh, the direction in which we want to create our extrusion, you note know, that we have a direction one and a direction two. As we look at direction two, you'll note that my end condition is set to blind. What this means is I just set that to an, you know, a parametric value, right? whatever that might be. And you'll note that the preview updates as soon as I do that. We can change this a number of ways, right? either incrementally uh, or with our drag handle. And you'll note that if we drag that, uh, SOLIDWORKS gives us a nice little uh, ruler there uh, to set our given distance. We also have, in this case, the option for merge result clicked. What merge result does is as we create this feature, if it's contacting an existing body, then it's going to merge itself within that body and consider it as a single solid part in that case. Uh, we Moving on, we have options for draft as well. You can see that I can turn on my draft and increment that up or down. In this case, we can draft either inward is what you're seeing here or draft outward of our profile, depending on what our needs are. That looks pretty good. Uh, note that we have options for direction too. So if we wanted to do a bi-directional extrude, we can do that as well. As I select direction two, uh, it immediately goes opposite of direction one. And again, you can see we have options to increment that um, as far out as we want to go. Now, we'll also take just a minute to talk about some of our other end conditions here. Uh, in this case, since we are facing some geometry, we're going to have access to all the ones that we could use. Um, and in addition to blind, which you've seen, we have options for through all. And you'll note with our preview, you'll see that it'll actually extrude our block through the extents of whatever other bodies we have. Uh, we have options for up to next, uh, which will allow us to sort of mold to that part. Uh, if we were to say up to vertex, uh, note that I can come in and then you know, pick a vertex for that to go to, whatever vertex that might be, right? I could go front or back, doesn't matter. Uh, up to surface, as you can see, we have the surface we can extrude that to. Uh, you'll note that as you pick a given surface, note that our extrusion uh, truncates right, to mold to that surface. Then, of course, we can offset from a given surface as well um, to build that out. So several options there. Uh, in our case, oh, there's also up to body, excuse me. You could say up to body and then pick the body we want to go to. In this case, it gives a very similar result uh, as up to next. Uh, so let's just say up to next in this case, right? So it goes right up to the next piece of geometry. Uh, we'll not worry about draft on this. Uh, our thin feature option is not really suitable since we have multiple closed profiles. Uh, but what that would allow us to do is just to, uh, to ultimately create a thin walled part and add a material thickness either to the inside, outside of that sketch, actually allow us to kind of place it wherever we want. Um, but the last thing that, that we have in our property manager is the selected contours portion. Now, initially you'll note that our sketch contour is in that box because that is what we picked when we, uh, we chose to start this command. Uh, but that is a selectable box and there are other sketch profiles and regions that we could pick. In this case, any of our, our uh, sketch profiles constitute contours. Uh, you'll note that as I click that other contour, we, we then see a hole propagate into our part. Of course, I could deselect that easily as well. It also gives me the ability to select regions 
rather than just contours. So right, the area within those contours can be picked as well. Right. So lots of options there, especially if you're dealing with a, a sketch with multiple nested profiles. So in our case, we'll pick our two contours we want to send through. We'll say OK. And we have our new feature created. A little bit about the extruded ball space command. Thank you very much.